Welcome to the final episode of Season 4 of the Northamptonshire Career Mode. Quickly go over the uh, only fixture we played, uh, which was a very important game, which we lost. Lost quite convincingly by 115 runs. Bowled pretty well in that uh, first innings, 276. Zaib, 6 for 96. Uh, Markham was good, uh, 1 for 32. He's really fighting for that contract. This is his defining game. I really hope he goes well today. In response, 320 all out. Rosenton, who's been probably our best batsman all season, 132 and a few 47s there for Fogden and uh, Cranshaw. They posted 274 and Zaib 5 for 93 and Markham, best ever bowling figures, 4 for 50. 4 for 50 is certainly going a long way to keeping his uh, deal um, here. In response, a very disappointing 115, chasing 230-odd. So that's our hopes gone for promotion back to County Championship Division 1. So all we can do is focus on the Hampshire game uh, today and just play reasonably well. Uh, Going to make a few changes to this team. We'll be right back. Just a wee bit of a restructure of the team, uh, guys. Uh, Vasconcel is coming in to open the batting uh, for Thor, who is sort of his form has faded during the uh, season. So his, his stats will pretty much finish as that, which is okay. He had a good um, start to the season, which is what I'm happy about. Shows he can play the level. Uh, we've got Fogden and Cranshaw still trying to develop that as a um, combination. Rosenton, of course, at 6. Kyo comes in at 7. Moved Leach down the order. He's opening the uh, bowling today. Zaib uh, had a good game last time round. Um, hopefully he does that again. Mirzabani and Markham is our team. So let's hope uh, that we have a good performance to finish this uh, season off. It's been a very, very testing season. Uh, the batting uh, has really let us down across all formats at times. Like we've posted, I think, 115 three times um, in the first class competition. Uh, and I think that's all sort of down to poor application um, from our batsmen. So we lost Newton early. Vasconcelos can combine well with Fogden. Fogden's had a couple here or there sort of knocks. He's batting okay. Probably will deserve a one-year uh, contract uh, just to see if he can prove that he can bat three next season because that's where he's going to bat. I'm going to reshuffle the um, order a, a wee bit. going to keep a couple of our experienced players. We might have a bit of a clean-out of some of the um, players that we've currently got in our team. Try and um, bring in some fresh faces. Vasco Celos is gone. Anderton, uh, he's only averaging 40 for the season. He's really struggled of late. Uh, so hopefully he starts um, getting back to the form of old uh, where he was scoring uh, 50s and 100s quite consistently. Fogged in with a lovely uh, shot. So this, this is an okay session. Two wickets lost, uh, 105 on the board. It's probably just played for a Targo, my um, home country of uh, New Zealand. It's one of the uh, provincial sides. Anderton's gone for 25, and it's just another partnership that looked promising has fold folded at the wrong time. Falcons put up a very good 50. This is really uh, good signs that he may be able to foot it at three for next season. It's been the case the last three games. We've been trying um, people at um, different positions to see if they can offer something to the team. Best batsman of the season is gone for three. Hundred forty-eight for five. It's just. Uh, just lost for words, really. Like, you've got to work a bit harder on the, um... Got to be more accountable. But, yeah, I, mean, I, I didn't think this would be easy, taking this side and making them into um, a team that can consistently win titles and uh, whatnot. It, it's a lot to it. Like, just haven't been able to pick up an all-rounder the last few seasons of uh, real high-caliber... Uh, that can 
be a part of our team for a hundred percent season that is going to be uh domestic wise like we've had to sign overseas all rounders like we've had one good season out of love shane uh season two and yeah it's, we had that ali hundred ali's been okay he's been okay but he hasn't been here the whole season Ranjo, lovely shot it's got a wee patch of forming here Lovely shot from Cranshaw. It's still really upbeat because I've got a few uh, young batsmen uh, that are just making their way into the game. Like Anderson, still only 21. He, he's got phenomenal numbers already. Uh, he's nearly closed in on 5,000 runs. And that just shows you that we've persisted with him through thick and thin. This is really good from Cranshaw. Giving us something to uh, defend. Batting first. Cranshaw continues on his merry way, just breaking it round the wicket. Hopefully, he can get into the 80s. Two eighty-three for seven now. Just run to the tail end of our um, order because uh, Zaib, I'd classify as just a bowler. On all round, we are working on his batting quite heavily. Lovely shots from Cranshaw. Lovely again. That's another four, and he's bought up his ton on the last game of the season. His first ever. Uh, badly needed for his confidence too. Done an hour five loss. He's gone for 106, but well played. Uh, persisted with him all season, and he finally gets um. A hundred. So we're 316 all out. That's one of our better um, batting performances. Like some guys hung round at the very least, put up a bit of a fight. Jatara there with a good spell, five for 64. Right. Opening up with our leech here today. First time this season we've done this. Now blessings, Mirzabani's in and out of the team. He bowls a right actually. He's sort of. Probably should persist with him a bit more. I'll try to rotate the bowlers around and give everyone um, the experience that they need. We'll bring the um, spin um, in at the moment. So try and get rid of uh, Vince. We got 200s against us last time. It's not going to be the case this time at all. Good, we got through 10 overs of that. Markham into the attack. Big spell for Markham. Rain stop play. Rain's going to hinder us from pushing for victory, I think, here. There's Amani. He's got, we've got the run out. Not a bad um, spell. He, again, he bowls really good spells. Like, he's economical and everything. Just doesn't get the reward, I don't think. it's. I just think I just need to stick with him. I think he'll come right. I, I'm just looking for that breakthrough season, really, from him. There's Amani. Second spell is a bit expensive. I'm gonna stick with a couple more overs. Razabani, what a spell. Great spell of bowling. Six for 72. We lead by a narrow 14 runs, but uh, is he doing enough to warrant a spot? He's averaging 51.93 per wicket this season. Last year was 32.05. I thought that was a decent year from him. He'd shown signs of improvement. But it, it, it's pretty much, I think, we have to let him go. Like, I've worked on him so hard. I want to keep him there. But if we, if we are going to strive and be the team that we need to... Well, we need to get to point A to point B. If we're going to be a good outfit, I think uh, his performances are not good enough. They are staying in the team. So we lost two early wickets here. And a turn. Gone. So his his season sort of petered out as well. Like he's only averaging in the um, late thirties uh, this season. Green short out for three this time. No repeat of the um, previous inning. So forty six for four. Ten 
interval day three. Rain stops play again. Can we bat deep into the uh, fourth day and just give them something to um, chase? 58 for five now. It's It's, it's, it's either good bowling or just poor sh uh, shot selection from their batsmen. I, I'd say it's just poor shot selection. Really Vasconcelos. for five. Can he bring up his 50? He does with a Nalaki edge through the uh, slips. 106 for five. Out for 60. In day 306 for six, only lead by 120. It's not going to be enough. One of these lower water batsmen to stick round. Uh, got a wee bit of depth in their batting today. This punch it needs to um, prosper. Be good to finish on a high note for the season. Get a get a win, moral boosting win. Out for eighteen. Can he get a few runs on the board? Give us around one seventy, one eighty to defend. It is possible to defend that. Maybe bat out this session. Put a wee bit of pressure on. All that rain's pretty much put us in a position where we might be able to. Um, cause a few problems. It's hung around anyway. Boundary. Could be by 190. We should sneak over to a 200 run lead. This is a good wee um, fighting punch at this. Out for 22. So we... 49. Out for 50. Can we get one more run? No, we can't. So pretty much 200 to win. Uh, for the Hampshire side. They need a win to stay uh, within a chance of getting promotion themselves. Going about it the right way. Can Markham get a um, few wickets to justify his spot? He's got one. One for 15. Not a bad spell of bowling. And 83 for one. It's been a good display from the batsman. And they coast a victory. So we finished the season uh, with a loss. We finished in sixth place in Division 2. 155 points, four wins, seven losses, three draws. Not what I was wanting, but we are in a sort of a rebuilding phase at the moment. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed the uh, the season. Uh, season review will be in the next episode, of course. It'll be a pretty blunt over, um, it'll be a blunt assessment. But yeah, give it a like, uh, comment, and uh, we'll see you again for the uh, season review.